Now in this example, we have an equation in motion and we need to answer these three questions. So the equation of motion is of this particle has an equation of s equal 2t cubed minus 7t squared plus 4t plus 1, where s is measured in meters and t is measured in seconds. Let's answer problems a, b, and c using our function. So let's find the velocity after 3 seconds. For b, the acceleration after 1 second. And for c, with what velocity is the particle at rest? So for letter A, it's pretty simple because we just need to find the velocity. And we know that to find the velocity, we just need to take the derivative of our function. So we have the derivative for our function, which gives us 6t squared minus 14t plus 4. And plugging in the values of the value of 3 in our function, we verify that this particular particle has a velocity of 60 meters per second after 3 seconds. Now, to answer letter B, to find the acceleration after 1 second, we just need to find or to get the derivative of our velocity function for our acceleration, and it gives us 12t minus 14. And after finding the acceleration function, plug in the value of 1 for 1 second, and you'll have negative 2 meters per second squared. So this is our acceleration for this particular particle in motion after 1 second. And the last question, the velocity of a particle at rest, to answer this question, you will need your velocity function because the question is the, um, the veloc what velocity of this particle will that particle be at rest. So given 6t squared minus 14t plus 4 as our velocity function, you just need to find the values of t by factoring. So we can factor it out and we'll have 3t minus 1 t minus 2 and 2 as a factor of our velocity function. And using zero product property, we can find the values of t for each um, factor. So we have t equals 1 third for the, our first factor and t equals 2 for our second factor. Therefore, to answer letter C, the particle is not moving at t equals 1 third second or at t equals 2 seconds. And this is how we answer questions given the function of your rate of change.